Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I started making some ephemera and I wasn't using any digitals and then I thought, well, you might enjoy coming along for uh, um, just enjoy doing the same sort of thing or having me show you what I'm up to. So I'm using some old vintage um, uh, envelopes. This one's from 1943 and it's just an absolutely adorable little envelope. And I'm attaching it to a botanical image um, that I've attached to cardstock. So the images I've used are from A Garden Eden. And this is a marvelous book for, I've used it, uh, I've had a few copies of it actually, and I <laughs> try and use every image, sorry. Um, and then I use the cover uh, for making journals. So what I've done is several of the pictures um, Many of them are things that you might not fussy cut out to put in your journal. Uh, and, and often they have a border around them like that. So those are the pages that I have taken out to use for um, my images. Like for this one, you could easily fussy cut that out. I bought mine on Amazon. They're typically here in Canada around $25 for the book. Um, I get a lot of use out of it, so for me it's it's worth the investment. I can never find these at a thrift store. So that's the sort of page that we're using. Um, and what I did is I cut out a bunch of them. These all have a dark border. Now this is one you could have cut out yourself, you know, fussy cut, but I, I like the idea of having these. And then I've attached them to Recollections Craft Paper Cardstock from Michaels. And so you can see how this one uh, this is another one. It had a little tear in the page, but I like seeing the brown. So I just have a whole bunch of them. That's gorgeous. We'll do something with that one. <laughs> There's lots of gorgeous images. But many of them are sepias. I'll play with this one. You could fussy cut that one out, but I just love the border around it. Um, so I thought, let's put a few envelopes on these. Is that not a stunner? Gorgeous. Uh, and I love that one. So let's see how many of these can we, I'm not sure how many envelopes I have here. I'm using, I have a several, I forget about 20 vintage envelopes left. Um, and they all, I'm using some, one, two, three, four, five, that have a, the, still have the flap on them um, because I want to be able to just attach them with that. If you have them that don't have the flap, and I have several of those, I would just use a piece of uh, fabric, like a strip of fabric like this. This is about an inch wide, coffee stain or tea stain fabric. So we can do that sort of thing with these. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that worked out well. So I wanna see which envelope suits best. Um, I have to put this envelope on a thick, a wide one. I think we'll stick with that one. Um, this is a nice thick envelope. It's from 1954. They wrote on it. I think it had a baby, um, uh, a baby announcement on it. It's a little bit wider. 1947. That looks lovely there. That one doesn't have a stamp, so we'll have to see what we do with that. put this one here because of the red stamp. I love that. And then this one has a little wee tiny one and it actually has the most adorable, adorable little card that I'm going to leave in it. A birthday remembrance from Gladys. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's going to stay in there because it's just so lovely. Uh, so most of these were were empty. So we'll do some judging with that as well. I think that looks nice with this one. Okay, so to get started, and then I'm going to do some washi, I think, on the back, or, or to decorate a little bit. So I'm going to move my pin, hopefully where I won't lose it. I'm going to put glue on here. And remember, if you were attaching with fabric, or a strip of coffee stain paper. Um, 
just to go the the about an inch wide is probably all you need. And then I'm just making sure it's there. I'm giving it a little bit more space, probably more than I need it to. So let's do it. Let's do this. Probably should do it this way so I can see how close I am to the crease. Yeah, that's great. So that's how quickly we start it. And of course you could sew around that. I would do that part before I did this bit of adding the envelope. And these envelopes, I think I got them on, um, many of them I've, I've gotten over the years on eBay. Uh, just winning an auction and getting them that way. So there we go. Um, the other thing I'm using is some antiquarian paper. This is some beautiful little pages that are rag paper from the uh, 19, I think it's from 1945. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. We're, um, I'm just getting over another cold. My husband says I have the immune system of an infant, and he's probably not wrong. Um, but there you go. Oh, love that. So what I would do in a journal is this would sit on a page, or you could you could clip it to a page. I mean, this isn't going to impede writing because you can write right over it. Uh, but I would I would probably attach it to a page like on two sides, and then like this. Or you could, depending on the size of your journal, you could do three sides and have something slip in. That works as well. This is amazingly thick paper. Um, well, like I think this one was a wedding invitation, actually. Now that I think about it, there was one that was a wedding invitation, which was really cool. And... You don't want to go right into the crease. You want to give yourself a little bit of space. And then this one, 1942. And I'm not worried about how um, sturdy the envelope paper is. Um, I'm not going to reinforce anything because it, it's just... Uh, Things get a little bit too thick in the journal sometimes. And it's not something that I see someone going in and out of a great deal. Um, that's my thought anyway. So that's that one. Okay. So I might start with this larger, this one with very little on it for decorating um, a little bit. There's our example. I'm wondering if I had my stamps nearby, that would have been a good thing to think about. I didn't really think about the fact, if I can see them, I didn't think about the fact that um, this one didn't have a stamp. So I've got some bird and butterfly stamps in here, I believe. Gosh, there's some beautiful flowers. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. I love those colors. And then we have some more on this side. Very little. Okay, I think we'll use this stamp. I like having that there. And I'm just going to put some art glitter glue on the back. This would be a great project for using your uh, glue stick, uh, but not for, I, yeah, for, for most things, unless you're using fabric. Uh, I find glue sticks not terribly reliable. I want to cover the 1954 because it is, um, I feel like it's, uh, because it's handwritten, it's not all that attractive. Um, I have this washi. Well, on the other side, I like that it says butterfly and we could put it so that the butterfly look, looks like it's coming off the page a bit so why don't we do that Let's see how that works for us problem with washi is you can't really audition it um, 
it's like you can paper because it's going to stick. <laughs> so I'm just putting some glue on the back just to make it a little bit more um, so it's going to stick there. So you can see the 1954 a little bit through the back, which I think is kind of nice. And then that wee butterfly there, I think that looks good too. Um, could put something just up in this corner. I was thinking about, um, I think maybe these, some numbers. Let's go for five, six. Most of my washi I've purchased from Bella Bits and Buys on Etsy, and I don't think she um, sells anymore. Uh, or I haven't seen her anyway. But you know, you can give it a give it a go and try and see. Yeah, it just draws your attention up there as well. And maybe you could put a little pocket back here. I'm going to put. Um, with this beautiful paper. I'm just going to fold it. I'm going to take two pieces because it's a big envelope. And I'm just going to fold it down a little bit from the top. And we can set it in here. Now you could decorate your paper as well. I just think it's nice. It's a nice way to add some um, vintage paper to a journal uh, so that someone can you know, play with it. And I also have some washi that I took off earlier. I think it was, yes, it was to do this item. Um, I tend to like to kind of rip it in half a little bit from time to time. And then, because I like to have a straight edge if I'm wanting to put it up against a straight edge. But beyond that, I just think that's lovely. And there's lots of places to journal here as well. And we could put a, um, a tab on it. I have some uh, Italian paper here. I cut a couple out with my whale tail tab and I'm just going to fold that in half and see where I would put it. I think towards the top like that. Or do we want it to touch? No, I think I want it towards the top. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue. So we'll get as many of these done as we can in in my my 30 minute time limit on my recording device here. I think that looks lovely. And like I said, you could easily sew around this. You could add a little vellum pocket there as well if you want it. But I just think she's lovely as is. So that's the first one. Um, let's do this beauty. I seem to have managed to get a little glue there, so you know what that means. There's going to be some washi up there. Let's take a piece of this. Gorgeous. I love this. This is my favorite. This is William Morris, and this is washi that I bought again. I think I got this from Bella as well. Um, Bella's Bits and Buys. I believe her name. Oh, I can't remember. I want to say Florence, but there you go. Uh, and then I want to put this just on the edge or fay. Anyway, <laughs> you can tell it's bugging me now. So I just put that there. I'm not worried about that one there. Um, and what do we want to put here? Do I want something like a, a bee? I don't know that I want a bee. Oh, I like the dragonfly. So I'm just going to go way over here. And I always take my take my bit that I've taken off and I put it on the side of my um, of my workspace because that allows me, that gives me uh, that it's there if I need it. 
so this is what I'm thinking. If I put dragonfly like down here, and then we see the word, the writing about the dragonfly as well, which I like. So I think we're going to do that. So it's fun to decorate with washi. Um, I find, you know, depending on how you use it, it can just make for a really nice, whoops, subtle addition. Sorry about the noise of that. And there we go. I want to thank everyone for the lovely comments about the uh, my Blue Fern Studio project. And that's continuing, but it will be... Um, I'll... Um, I'm going to be trying to do a video a week and then I have a I have a playlist already set up for it so you can go and look at the playlist whenever uh, that way it uh, won't be the only content that you see from me um, I mean I love making it but I know that if you're not making a uh, ring binder then you're probably thinking I'm not going to watch that so which is absolutely fine. So that comes over the edge a little bit, which is great. Um, okay. I think... What other washi do I want to use? I have this. I'm just going to grab that and see. Is that going to be... Too much? I don't think so. So we'll put that up in the corner. And um, just kind of add, add a little bit more of our personalization. So I'm liking this. You could also have like um, fussy cuts or whatever if you want it. I'm just, like I said, I'm not using any digitals for this project? Um, I've got this here. I'm just going to put some numbers down here at the bottom. And what's fun about doing this is that you can um, absolutely cover this if you want it. Like if you, if this was in a journal that you had and you want it. To change it, there's no reason why you can't put a, uh, a digital uh, fussy cut over that if you want it or whatever. But I like the idea of being able to write on here um, as well. So let's grab a piece of paper and put it in the envelope just so that there's something fun in there. So that's the second one done, I'd say. Okay, there's this cutie. Let's see. I just love the way that one looks as is. Let's see. I, I think I want to put something up here. I don't want this huge uh, bee, but that's a great image for something else. But I would definitely have this. And this it says insect bugs, but it looks to me like it's a looks like a bee. Could could be a a wasp. Well, that looks lovely there. I think very subtle. Um, I think I just want to put a little. How's that going to look with this? Grab this little tiny piece, maybe, and I'm just going to set that down here. I think this makes me think that I need. I can put the pin back in my back in my glue. So I'm just setting that so that I can put it right on the edge. And I'm going to put the pin back in my glue. There we are. Since I'm not doing any more 
<clears throat> gluing with the uh, with that at the moment. And do I have some cardstock? I don't want to. Just I feel like this one wants a, a brown. This is some of that craft paper that I used from Michaels to attach to the back um, of the um, In a Garden Eden book pages. And I think I want to have it so that it touches that washi. So that's, oh, look, I put the pin back in my glue and I do need it for this. So we'll put that in. Like so. I'm going to have it so that it's not like right in the middle. I don't know what it is. I don't like to have it right in the middle when it's a tab. Just like that. It brings all those colors together. I'm not going to put anything else up here. Um, but I'm going to use some more numbers because they're just fun to use. So I'm just going to set that towards the top, I think. Like that. Grab a, a page. That one or is it two? I think it's two. It's a nice page. It's got all this beautiful writing with the big letters. So I'm going to set that in there. Like so. And that's that one done. Just very simple. Um, they're just going to, I think, add a little bit of a a little bit of a classy element? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Let's do this one. It's got, it's so tiny. Um, gosh, I hope I've been on in frame. I'm going to grab a, a stamp from my album here. And uh, we'll go from there. So there's a little tiny one there. I'm just seeing what I have. Flipping. I'm flipping. Oh, this is lovely. This little bird. Okay, let's use the little bird. I'm going to set him right down there. So I'm going to, this one I'm going to glue on. And um, I'm just trying to think what I might want for. I'm going to open that for now and we'll see what we do. Move those out of the way. Uh, blue. So I'm going to take, oh, I already have a piece. And I'm going to take a piece of this. Washi. It doesn't have to be a really big piece. And I'm just going to attach it here on this side. I'm hearing my washing machine upstairs. I put uh, I put the laundry on before I came down. I was using the elliptical for the first time in a while. Oy vey felt that. That's for sure. Um, you know what? I want this big butterfly for here. So I'm just going to pull it off, set this to the side of my workstation because it will get used. Uh, and that's the nice thing about using glue stick behind it. I find even sitting there for a few days, it doesn't seem to lose its stickiness. But if you put because I'm putting glue on it anyway, that just adds to it. So that is super cute. 
Uh, and I want to use, I think I want to use some more of this blue for this one. So I'm just going to cut that. And we'll put that on. You could, of course, oh, I'm going to use that side, I think. You could, of course, use glue stick for this, for adding this as well. Um, but I don't have a surface that I'm using to set things on at this moment. So I'm just going to put it here. Or use the uh, our glitter glue. So these are very simple. Uh, would be a good project for Rachel with her... Um, uh, weekly challenge. Now, do I want a number? I'm just going to use one number and add that. And I'm going to add it up here because I've already got, I've already taken up some space with that. So there, that's that one. Super fun and easy. And we've already got something in that one, so I'm not going to add to it. And so, okay, get your skates on. Wendy, get your skates on. All right, so this one, also really, really lovely um, on the front. What have we got? I've got this uh, that we just re recently pulled off. I've got the little ladybug, and I feel like the ladybug would be awesome up here. Put it up here. Like that. Um, and there's lots of space on this one. I might want to put, where is that? That was like a, a little waspy. I'm just going to tear him out and try and take, tear him off there. Yikes, my fingers are really sticky right now between the insects and my uh, gluing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna set that below there. So we've now got two insects, which I think looks great. Um, I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna set I don't think I'm going to add, I might put a number on the front on this one. I'm not going to put uh, any um, like William Morris washi on it. I'm going to put it up at the top, or towards the top. There we go. I meant I'm not putting any William Morris washi on the envelope. I may not put any William Morris washi anywhere on this one. I don't know. Um, where are my numbers? I think I want to put four and five on there. The five is ripped, but I don't mind. I think it looks cool. So I'm just going to set that down here at the bottom. It's 1949. I could have actually put 49 if we wanted. Do I want a little bit there? Let's see, I've got this bit. So, okay, that might be too wide, but I do want it. Just rip a bit off. I like the idea of it peeking out of the top. Ooh. I'm going to line it up over here because it goes so nicely with the pinks of the, of the flowers. Just like that. Take our piece of paper. Oh, that's a nicer piece. I like nicer because it's got some of those illustrated um, letters, which I think look beautiful. And I'm going to set that in there. Perfect. Okay. Very simple. Um, there we go very simple little pieces of ephemera. So this is what we managed to get done. I'll take away the one I had already done. Well, we'll so we did this one and this one. This is the last one we did, which I think is really cute. 
this one. Uh, this one, I will be making more, but I will, I'll probably be using, um, uh, I'll have to use some fabric on the edge. And I had already done this one. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and subscribing and being such great supporters of my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.